Well, we are here with the man behind Other. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about uh, your movie. Sure. Uh, my name is uh, Danny Del Purgatorio, director of Other. Um, yeah, and uh, it's a kind of a sci-fi horror film, sort of old school, uh, about a doctor diagnosed with cancer who kind of goes on a quest to cure himself outside of modern medicine. And uh, obviously, nothing good ever comes from that, <laughs> as you know, because you've seen the. Film. As I know, I've actually had a pleasure of seeing it before the festival here, and uh, I gotta tell you, it wasn't what I expected in a good way, though. Uh, I really liked um, a lot of things that came across it. It really had a good uh, production value look, a high production value look. How long? Uh, how long did it take? And uh, could you maybe tell us what your budget kind of was for it? Sure, uh, the budget was a little over three thousand um, dollars. And we spent maybe about a month kind of designing uh, all the sets and props and, and making sure all that stuff could work. Um, up front, we wanted to make sure we did everything practically. Um, so we spent a lot of time building all of the, the sets, the machines, the equipment, all the uh, craziness, which I won't give away, that you see inside the film. Uh, then we shot for two days, edited for a couple of weeks, did sound design and music for a couple of weeks as well. So all in all, it was probably about two months of, of uh, hardcore production, I'd say. Cool, cool. And uh, what, where, where'd you come up with the idea for other? I don't want to give too much away about it, but I mean, I really like the concept of, of you addressing a real world situation of someone being, you know, confronted with this inevitability because of the disease, you know, whatever condition they have. Where'd you come up with? Uh, initially, initially, I um, kind of started coming up with the idea when I found out my wife was pregnant. Oh. <laughs> But it goes further than that. It was more so because uh, we, you know, new parents and stuff, we were going to, to the hospital and meeting with doctors and kind of figuring this whole thing out, you know. And um, I don't know, the medical world obviously is, is a little corrupt. And um, I have a few, peop a few friends of mine who are uh, cancer, uh, they deal with cancer. Um, and just kind of the idea of, of having their hands tied behind their back and everything is so by the book. Um, and I sort of use that as, as inspiration and, and being, you know, at this time thrown into this medical world. I don't know. It was just, uh, it, it was all these things started kind of brewing together. And I, I kind of, I thought the idea of this guy kind of going outside of that and thinking that he had a better chance to survive was uh, kind of inspiring in a way. Um, yeah. And cool. sort of came together in a blender. Well, uh, it deserves all the credit. I saw you uh, were at the Elvira Horror Hound yes. selection, so that had to be great. Did you get to meet Elvira? I did, yes. It yeah. was amazing. She's uh, fantastic, fantastic. And, um, yeah, obviously grew up watching Elvira, so to be a part of her, uh, her first festival was very humbling, for cool. sure. Well, we appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. You bet. Thank you.